Okay, so you have learned about surface area of rectangular and tri triangular prisms. So we're going to just um, do a little bit of practice. I'm going to do one problem with you because this is so new and you have notes. I really want to, you to practice looking at your notes and writing the formulas and um, all that good stuff. So um, let's look at number one. Number one says, how many centimeters of wrapping paper will it uh, will be used to wrap the shoe box? Okay, so if we are wrapping, um, wrapping the shoe box, I guess I should underline it here, is that going to be total or lateral surface area? Yeah, it's going to be total surface area that we're looking for because um, we're covering all parts of this rectangular prism. Okay, if you see this right here, this um, the top of the box is a wide rectangle, but the side of the box is a smaller one. And then you have this little one right here. So we have a total of three different um, rectangles. Okay, so let's look at number one. Number one says that this side right here is 14, and this side right here is this line down here, um, down here, which is 28. So area of base times height, and area equals 28 times 14. Okay, um, so that's for the first one. For the second one, um, which is right here, we have this height, which is 10, and this base, which is 28. So area equals base times height, and area equals 10 times 28. Okay, and then we have our third rectangle, which is this one right here. So it's this height, which is the same as this one. So this is 10. And then this base right here, um, which is the same as this base, which happens to be 14. So area equals base times height. And area equals 14 times 10. Okay. So after we have total, that means that we need to um, take the answer here and add it to our second area and then add that to our third area. And all of that together um, equals total surface area. Okay, so I want you to press pause, do the math, and then press play once you have finished. Okay, I just want to make sure um, that once you finish finding area, that is for one of the two sides. So here I just found area of this top part right here, but then there's that same part on the bottom, right? So when I'm adding, it's not 392, but it's 784, so I get both the top and the bottom of the shoe box. Um, so if you did not do that and you just added one of the, of the rectangles and didn't multiply each, this one and this one by two to get these two, then um, I want you to press pause and fix your work and then press play when you have finished. Okay, so you should have gotten 784 centimeters squared for the top and bottom, um, 560 centimeters squared for the long sides, and then 280 centimeters squared for the two short sides for a total of 1,000. Um, 624 centimeters square for the total surface area. Okay, so moving on to this one. Um, so you're going to do two, three, and four on your own, 
and then you're going to um, do the matching. So it says, match the following three dimensional figures to the appropriate nets. So if you see, there are um, just three of these, right? And then there's six nets. So obviously you're not gonna use three of them. Um, but here we're going to just see which one. So it gives you two possibilities. So for instance, if we are looking at number one, okay, number one has a side length of um, 2.5 centimeters. So if we look, um, if we look at our answer choices, answer C um, has a side length of 2.5 centimeters and answer D has a side length of 2.5 centimeters. So then I've got to take a look at it and determine which one of these is going to make a cube, right? Um, when I fold them together, where am I gonna get a cube at? Would it be answer choice D or answer choice C? Um, and you can do, you can, um, you can draw out a cube. Um, you can draw these nets and figure out if you were to put them together, would it form a cube? Um, I'm looking at this hole right here um, and trying to determine how would I make a cube out of that um, to make a top and a bottom. These two these would be my, this would be my base, and this would be my base, and they would have to be on opposite sides of each other, right? Because one would have to be on the top of the cube, and one would have to be on the bottom. So this would serve better to be over here. So answer D is not my answer. So answer C would be the correct answer for this one. Okay, so then you're going to complete two and three, determine which of the two possible answer choices is correct. Um, when you have finished this, you're going to take a picture of the front and back um, and complete this. You do have a makeup or a retest for your area of composite figures that is available as of today. And you have until Friday to take it because Friday I've got to finalize your grades for your report card. So um, please make sure that you take advantage of that. Um, it is available to do on your own time. So. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.